I like to ask the questions that probably nobody else is really going to ask. Will you take me out fishing? Yeah. If I'm in Mexico, will you teach me how to surf since I know that's your new sport? That well, uh, you got to find me first. What's your favorite indulgent food? Oh, cookies and cake. I'm definitely a very naturally curious person, which I think is a good thing. Sometimes it gets me into trouble. Can we talk about Snooki and her fashion sense? You're a Jersey girl, she's a Jersey girl. What do you think? Um, Maybe I would have dressed like that when I was maybe 17. Does that sign say warning, no trespassing or loitering? I would never loiter, are you kidding me? So if I'm interviewing a sports figure, I will not probably ask them about the game or the stats. I will, however, ask them about, you know, what's the last meal that you cooked? Which finger are you putting the Super Bowl ring on? You're probably my middle one. Your middle one? No, I'm just joking. You'll go on the right ring finger. I think mine will go on a cabinet. I like interviewing people that have confidence, that are willing to show that that they're, they want to have a good time. Okay, so we're out here at the Mall of America and Kendra Wilkinson. You all know her, Girls Next Door. I am here in my kitchen with, I'm sorry, he. I have to say this, Daniel Green, the most gorgeous chef ever. I like to interview people that's not just sitting in a studio. I like to go out and do something with them. What are some of the mistakes, Daniel, people make when they're cooking? I think people overcook food because they're worried. I like when I ask them a question and they kind of giggle. That makes me happy. What are the things that are must-haves in the kitchen? Non-stick pan, a really good Nuts, one. Okay. Not a cheap one. Spend some money. He's it, looking at mine as he's saying. I, I didn't mean that. I don't get embarrassed that easily. Thank you. What are your castmates like with it? Are they jealous of you? Or are I don't know that they, I mean, I, none of them, I don't know that I don't know if they accept it. I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's not an elephant in the room. I don't really think about it. I don't really think about the rest of the class. I'm like, if I get an A, I don't care if everyone gets an A. I'm right. Not, it's right. like I'm. I'm on the road. I'm playing my own game. I don't care about what everyone else is doing. I couldn't give a rat's ass. Everybody has got to have a passion for something, and it can be all sorts of different things. My question is, what's your uh, thoughts on legalization of marijuana? California's got it on the ballot this fall. Right. 800,000 people signed the petition to fully treat marijuana like alcohol and tobacco. Right. So what would you say to others to encourage them to go for their passion? A life without following your passion is like a life without children. Passion lives on forever. A job doesn't. Right. So I would say it's never too late. So if you weren't fortunate enough to have, have a career that was your passion, which most of us don't, then get your hobby back. People let go. Right. And it's about, it's time to re-grasp your passion. Best advice I ever got is to never stop being a student. Depression is sort of, there's a stigma attached to it. And more people that are famous need to come out and say, look, I had, you know, you were right. You had everything going for you. I thought being successful and and making money and, and having people like you and doing what you love, I right. thought that would heal me. And for, you know, for the, for the first couple of years, it, it seemed like it did. Did you always have aspirations to own your own business? I was one of those fortunate people who didn't have a set path. Right. Because if I did, I wouldn't be doing half the things I'm doing today. Right. So slightly strong paths are good, but right. be open. Because if it's too strong, then things try to come in and you're close to them. See, this That's is what I'm really finding about you is that everything that you do, you like it to happen organically. You don't like people. You must do Manufactured. this. Manufactured. Right, right. I'll tell you, one of my favorite interviews was Joan Rivers. She knew her stuff. She's one of those people that, that didn't feel she was on a different level than everybody else. Do you design every single one of these yourself? I design our president of our company, David Dangle, and then we have a real designer right. who we beat up constantly. Right. I'm seeing a whole other side of Joan Rivers. I'm seeing a very serious, very sweet, so and you see a woman you, and it's really kind of nice. Whose dog is no longer going to the bathroom in Rolls Royce. Yes, exactly. I kind of put myself out there a little, sometimes way too much. I'm not looking, I swear. I don't want to see anybody in their underwear. I'm a girl that grew up in the Midwest. I'm in my 40s. I am who I am. I have a zest for life. <laughs>